cheers of celebration in the Suez Canal and horns blaring as the Ever Given finally appears to make a move. For days, and despite a multinational rescue effort, the vessel has hardly budged. Now, finally, it's been refloated. Wedged across the Suez Canal, the scale of the problem has dwarfed the machinery seen as a solution. Dredges and diggers have removed thousands of cubic metres of sand from underneath the giant container ship, and a team of at least 10 tugboats has been trying to dislodge it for days. Since it ran aground, tankers and cargo ships carrying oil, gas and grain have stacked up at either end of the canal, delaying global trade and costing billions of dollars every day. Around about 7% of the world's oil trade goes through the, the, the Suez Canal, um, and it can't. Any, any ship has the choice of, of taking the longer route round the south of Africa. It takes around two weeks longer, obviously costs more because of the additional um, shipping costs. So ships are having to make that decision. Do they wait um, in that queue of, of 300 or do they take the, the longer trip? The crisis is already having an impact on Syria. The authorities forced to announce fuel rationing as supplies from Iran are stuck. The news uh, coming out of Syria is deeply, deeply worrying. Uh, the country was already hitting crisis point with the economic collapse uh, hitting uh, Syria and, and the daily lives of Syrians. And now these delays to fuel shipments will make an already bad situation worse. There had been fears an operation would be needed to lighten the ship, which is 20,000 containers on board, requiring a crane and other equipment that's yet to arrive. But it appears a flotilla of tugboats and a higher tide may have deemed that unnecessary. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.